We're doing it. This is the 10th flight of the F-22 Raptor. Now, I did manage to burn out the motor on this trying to fly around a four cell, so if you like the extra speed, get the upgraded version. We're gonna get this up in the air, bring her down, tell you all about it. Well folks, that has been the Freewing F-22 Raptor. One of the best planes I've ever flown. She's just, she's so smooth, so rugged. We've had a couple of difficult landings. On one of our first few flights, we even managed to come in upside down. Minor scuffing on the vertical stabilizers, no real issues there. Uh, on her sixth flight, as I mentioned before, I managed to burn out her motor. I'd put her on a four cell. She's flying along, suddenly I've got no thrust at all. Now, for those of you who have flown EDFs before, you know that that's usually a death sentence. They tend to not glide very well. Managed to turn the plane around, bring it all the way back to the runway, and set it down perfectly. No hop, no bounce whatsoever, just straight down the runway. Oh, it was amazing. So I got her home, I tore her open, and found that the, the motor was basically a blackened husk. I, th I thought for sure it was gonna be the 30 amp ESC, but no, it was her motor that couldn't take it. So if you've got a need for speed, get the upgraded version. Now this one, the five blade is $109, $139 for the upgraded version. So it's definitely cheaper to get it that way than to do the upgrade yourself. Highly recommended. You're, you're going up from a five blade EDF to a 12 blade you're going up from a 30 amp ESC to a 40, and you're swapping out a 4300 kV motor for a 3300 kV. I ended up basically doing that upgrade myself with an old fan that Zach had lying around, and she flies great. Absolutely loves those four cell batteries now. So nice in the air. My only complaint at this point is the foam nose gear. The wheel there is starting to shred with all of the landings that I've gotten, so I need to either swap that out or do like one of the gentlemen out at the flight line recommended and just take the gear off. From what he was saying, she's a great belly lander and that takes care of the weakness that she tends to see on those three cell batteries because you're eliminating that drag. Now, from the ruggedness I've seen out of this plane, with a little tape along the bottom, that belly landing is going to be really easy on her and she'll do it great. So I'll probably give that a shot. 
So we kind of estimate the value of a plane at a uh, price per flight. You know, you, you take the price of the plane divided by the number of flights you've got. We're quickly approaching $10 a flight on this plane, which is kind of where we start to feel like we've gotten the value out of the bird. Uh, I have every confidence that we could get this one down to five, maybe even two. She's that good. Now, if you're looking to get into EDFs, if you know someone who is and you're looking for that perfect uh, birthday or Christmas gift for them, you can't go wrong with this plane. It is such a good platform. I will never claim that there is an EDF for beginners, but if there were, it would be this one. Put a gyro in her and she may be there. We'll have to give that a shot, but yeah, I love this plane. If you can't tell, I love this plane. Anyway, until next time, keep flying. So, so as you can see, there's a fair degree of commitment that we at Angry Zeppelin have for you, our viewers. It's so true. All of this comes out of our own pockets, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below what else you'd like to see here on Angry Zeppelin. Until next time, keep, keep flying! flying.